Welcome to Red Sox Camp. I got two names for you to keep an eye on uh, this week. Two guys to talk about from today's workout. The first one you probably haven't heard of unless you're an avid f fan of the team and following all the prospects, Darwinson Hernandez, young left-hander out of Venezuela. The reason we mention him is he was throwing a bullpen session with Chris Sale, David Price, and Rick Porcello today. Uh, this young kid, he has a live arm, big left-handed guy, uh, walked a lot of guys in the minors last year, 60 walks in 100 innings at High A Salem, but struck out 120. And this is a guy the Red Sox have always thought could possibly help them out in the bullpen in the future, maybe as soon as this year, probably a little bit of a stretch. Alex Cora said they're still looking at him as a starter in the minors to continue developing, but the kind of arm he has is one that they think could really help them out of the bullpen eventually, possibly this year if he really impresses in camp. The only guy to keep an eye on is Heath Hembry. This is a guy that actually has better numbers than a lot of the Red Sox relievers have posted in their career. A three and a half ERA, as opposed to Matt Barnes and his 4.15 ERA. But if you talk to Dana Levangie, the pitching coach, or Alex Cora, these guys keep talking about Hembry like someone who's really going to step up and be a force out of this bullpen this year. You know, I talked to him a little bit. He, he said he's trying to just be more consistent. It was coming back on the second day last year that something that the Red Sox thought he could have been better at. He would have a really good outing one night. It was the next day where he would struggle sometimes. But he said, listen, the bullpen understands that everyone's talking about them, that this is the weakness of the team. But he said, we're the offensive linemen of baseball. We're, that's kind of our job. You know, We had a Hall of Fame closer. He's gone. He, he said, we, any one of us could be the closer on this team. So those are two guys to keep an eye on as we keep you covered down here in Fort Myers, so stay tuned at the Boston Herald for more.